New day, new creepypasta. This time around, we're looking into the supposed backstory of one of the more powerful creepypasta beings there are. His name is Zalgo. And if I remember correctly, he's... Well, this is like based around the... Uh, this was around the fan base for a while, but supposedly he's the main rival to Slenderman as the both of them try to like fight against each other to like see who can con have the most amount of proxies or something like that I I don't know what's going on there but other than that I say let's just get into the backstory for him Alright, now it's time to get into the backstory of Zalgo, which, if I'm not mistaken, is he's one of the more, uh, alongside Slenderman, he's one of the more popular creepypastas as well. He comes. One of Zalgo's famous titles right here. Zalgo is a malevolent and mysterious entity. He is an internet legend that has inspired many creepypasta stories, most notably the stories he Comes by Chris Phoenix and Zalgo Invocation. So, origin. Zalgo is the brainchild of Dave Kelly, aka Schmorky, a Flash animator and something awful goon. It was first mentioned but not seen in parodies of syndicated newspaper comics on a semi-secret page on his official site. Zalgo spread rapidly from there with people making their edits of supposedly Zalgo Fled comics, writing creepypasta stories about him and continuing the lore. Since the memes spread, Schmorky has made several Flash animations in his own inimitable style, of course, referencing it including Zalgo. On August 22nd, 2009, Schmorky explained the origin of Zalgo in a post on the Something Awful forums. I like how people who try to figure out the origin of the meme don't even know where it came from originally. I'll tell you where it came from. From me. I just made it up. Zalgo is something horrible. Zalgo is something that's coming. It's coming soon. It has nothing to do with Lovecraft. It's not. I'm not nerdy enough to make those kinds of references. Seeing it become a meme kind of killed doing further Zalgo edits in the future. For me anyway. But maybe I'll do one when you least expect it. According to Schmorky, Zalgo's abilities only affect comics, cartoons, and illustrations, not reality itself. This idea has drifted out to favor with more recent stories portraying Zalgo as a powerful demonic being. Generally speaking, most people do not agree on what Zalgo himself actually looks like, and portrayals vary greatly. In an early image, Zalgo is depicted as a jet-skinned knight in silver armor surrounded by a corona of black lightning. Later in the video, Zalgo Invocation, he is described as having seven mouths speaking in six foul tongues. The seventh waiting to sing the song that will end the world. The four arms holding a dead star and a candle that sheds darkness rather than light. He he has also been described as an amorphous eyeless being since Zalgo is malevolent chaos incarnate. It is possible that all of these descriptions of the character are true as well as countless others. Despite extreme differences in portrayals, Zalgo is commonly portrayed as being red and black and having a floating head. True. personality. Due to Zalgo being such an in, uh, enigmatic figure, his true personality remains entirely unknown. It is hard to determine just what he is thinking and what his plans are. Although he is commonly seen as a cruel, sadistic, manipulative, predatory, misanthropic demon who only seems to 
torment humans just because he despises them. Zalgo appears to have abilities similar to Slenderman, video corruption, mind control, a virus-like sickness, etc., though the results appear more severe and life-threatening. Many who look upon Zalgo end up crazy, disfigured, or even dead. Zalgo was created by Dave Kelly, aka Shmorky. Zalgo mainly focuses on trying to destroy the multiverse. His speech is glitched slash scrambled. Zalgo has several human followers, which use scrambled text to represent him. Zalgo has no consistent form. He is believed to relate to the relate to the death of the world along with insanity and unspeakable things. Most of the time, disfiguration, gore, and dismemberment go along with the creature. Many who look upon him go insane. Zalgo is featured in the Creepypasta comic series I Eat Pasta for Breakfast and is portrayed to be Lazari's biological father. I say that this one right here is one of the more consistent pictures for Zalgo. This one right here, I would say that's one of the more consistent ones. Other than that, you got this one too. It has three eyes. One, two, three, four, five. I see five mouths here. Others are probably on his arms. Because in the description for Zalgo, it said he had seven... Uh, he has seven uh, mouths, but six of them speak in foul tongues, while the seventh one waits for the chance to sing the song to end the world. What about this one? Oh my lord. Actually, this one looks pretty cool. I actually like this one. This one looks like an actual picture that could be used to... Uh, for Zalgo. Huh. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zalgo Invocation. Described as having seven mouth. Yeah. Seven mouths speaking in foul, six foul tongues. The seventh waiting to sing the song that will end the world. Yeah, yeah. So I was... I was right. Yeah. Hey, you. Yes, you. Behind the camera. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Hey, this entire month of October 2022, there's going to be one creepypasta video a day throughout the entire month. So, if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.